This is the New Zealand war dance, the haka. Nani te! Nani te! Kamui! Kamate, kamate, kore! Kamate, kamate, kore! So my name is James Hodges from New Zealand, age 25. Uh, biggest thing I got from this retreat was to just express myself without seeking anyone else's approval, um, just to express from within, really just become truly who I am with it, without this false image and trying to live up to expectations. Um, do what I want to do, not what I should do. I guess my highlight of the retreat was just really deeply connecting with people. Um, we had about 20 amazing people on this retreat and really being able to get to know all of them and deeply connect to them more than most people I've ever connected with in my life uh, was pretty amazing and mixing that in with an unbelievable house and surfing and driving an ATV and exploring the towns and taking a bus and seeing rural Nicaragua has been absolutely amazing. So highly recommend this retreat and uh, if you're thinking about going, just do it. Hi. <laughs> How could I get goofy? Hi. I interrupt this retreat to tell you about our next retreats. February 13th through the 17th of Valentine's Day Relationship Retreat where you fall back in love with yourself and whoever else you bring and whoever else is there. You can come by yourself, but hey, if you bring someone else, even better. And then after that, it's March 8th through the 15th on a private Panamanian island. Do I really need to say anything else except expect nothing, experience everything? All right, back to Nicaragua. I came on this trip literally expecting nothing, and I experienced everything. It was incredible. The sereneness I feel right now is, it's a magical feeling. I've never felt so peaceful. I would definitely recommend this. It was incredible. It's Nathaniel from the Ravras. I have to admit, coming into this retreat, I had some doubts. We all had doubts. Nicaragua was a foreign territory for us. Me and Daniel had never been, but after it's all been said and done, I can confidently say that this was one of the best weeks of my life and I just have endless amounts of gratitude towards God for working His way into our lives at the retreat and working His way into everyone's lives and directing our steps and guiding us every moment. I invite anyone, anyone who's willing to step outside their comfort zone to come join us in, in a journey that will change your life forever. My name is Jake Ducey, I'm 22 years old and I came to the Raw Bras Retreat from San Diego. I would say that what I took away most was a couple things. Realizing that I, I have my flaws and I have my own insecurities and oftentimes just when I can just accept that I have them, then I'm just free from them. Another thing I really took away was how to interact with people in a more peaceful way when there may be a conflict or it may turn out to be something negative. I learned some great tools for everything from a, how I would engage in a romantic relationship to my parents, to my friends, to a stranger, to just something that's really heated. My name is T Mango from the Rob Ross. I'm 25 years old. This is probably my 15th retreat and I cannot believe that it's not getting old. And a and matter of fact, it not only is it not getting old, it's getting better for me, more impactful every time. This message of just, you know, living life in the context of death, we are all gonna die. And I wanna make the most of my time. I don't wanna have fake relationships anymore. <clears throat> I wanna spend my time getting really to know someone and I want them to fully know me. Taking that message into practice has benefited my life so much. And I honestly think that what is happening at our retreats, I don't even want to take credit for it, is nothing short of life changing. And I really hope that if this message has spoken to you, that you take that leap of faith and you come on to one of the Rob Ross retreats. You know how you sometimes watch a movie and the second time you watch it, you go, oh, really? You notice all the small things. That's kind of how I felt like this time. And this is my seventh retreat, I think, and I feel like I got so much more out of this than I've ever done before. And I went like, wow, would I recommend it? 
I came all the way from Denmark. I never went back. I'm married and I'm watching a California sunset. Heck yeah, I would recommend it. <laughs> I definitely would recommend this retreat. And I would definitely recommend this raw, raw retreat. Anytime, any day, any place, anywhere. It's so much fun. <laughs> I would highly recommend anyone go to a raw balls retreat. I would recommend coming on a retreat if you if you definitely want to get out of your comfort zone and have some great introspective moments and be able to connect with people on different levels. The highlight of this retreat for me was seeing everyone come together and appreciating one another for the talents that we have and the insecurities that we have and really loving each other for it. This trip, before I came, I really just was stuck in the figure eight of life, I felt like. And after this trip, I realized that I don't have to do what I, what I need to do or what I should do, but it really gave me the courage to live life how I want to. And so I encourage you, if you're in that same boat, you definitely need to be on a Raw Bros retreat. I totally would recommend someone coming on this retreat. It was life changing for me. I went into it expecting that I was gonna learn some cool tools and I didn't think that it was gonna really change my life, and it did. And uh, probably what happened for the, for the most spectacular part for me was when I realized that I love where I live right now and I love my home, but it's not where I wanna be. And I realized that I wanna travel, so I immediately acted and contacted my landlord and let them know that I was gonna be moving out. And so that really touched me to see, especially the way that I know Daniel lives, having to got to know him a bit, that he's so in, in process and looking for the next, the next thing that's really going, going to touch him. That he keeps always, he keeps always moving to new things and never gets, never gets too caught up in routines. And I realized that while routines could serve me, there's something more. And when I did that, I feel a whole new, way of freedom right now in the way that I'm speaking even on this camera so I recommend this to anyone that's just looking for a little bit more out of the current environments that they're in or maybe is thinking they want a total change up because I think that this can give you that level of certainty in order to step into uncertainty. Man Nicaragua wow country was a crazy experience I mean, if we weren't ziplining over an extinct volcano, or swimming in a crater lake, or meeting our meat, or doing some crazy exercise, what a fit, inspirational group we had. I really think the highlight for me was still those aha moments, when you kind of see someone go past their breaking point, when they didn't think there was anything else to explore, when they got realer than real, and rawer than raw. And all of a sudden, whether it, whether it came out in the form of tears or uncontrollable laughter, just basically this uncontrollable emotion overcame their body. And I was talking about in the retreat how that the spirit of God is not fear. It's in a Bible quote. Um, and when these people would face their fears, and it was just awesome to see God shining through them, radiating whether through their eyes or their smile or their tears. Take home lesson from this trip for me was just how to effectively communicate with people and how to understand that what you feel and what they say to you is not always a reflection of how you actually are. What they say about you is actually a reflection about them. And that makes such a big influence in how you interpret your life and your interactions with people and your thoughts and feelings about them. The highlight of the trip for me could have been anything from the zip lining to swimming in the crater lake. For anyone that's uh, wanting to further their communication skills or just learn more about themselves or learn more about people in general, this retreat would be a great experience for you. So if you want to get really real and raw with the Rob Ross, email us at robros at gmail.com.